Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answers. This is part of our series that happens every Tuesday on YouTube and you can also listen to it every Friday on iTunes and other podcasts that Viva La Vegan is on. This week, our question is, how do I give up dairy products? And um, first, I guess, with anything, um, you have to want to change your behavior and you have to see this change as a positive. So I would suggest instead of saying give up dairy, um, you, you make it into something like eating better for myself to help the planet and my animal friends. And um, I might give you some reasons to help you decide why ditching dairy is one of the best things you can do. I have a video that I've done previously called um, What's Wrong With Dairy? So I suggest you check that out if you have not seen that already. Um, in case you're not aware, and a lot of people don't seem to be aware of this, all female mammals need to be pregnant or need to have given birth to produce milk. And the dairy industry is all about making babies. But only female calves are of any use. So the male ones are killed or they're sold to veal producers. So if you're a vegetarian and not wanting to contribute to the death of any animals, by eating dairy products you are still part of the killing machine. If you eat cheese, one of the main ingredients is something called rennet and that is from the stomach lining in calves. Uh, some other reasons you might want to give up dairy include if I just have a think about what happens to the mums and the babies when they're no longer making any money for the companies. If a mother is no longer profitable before giving birth due to, for example, mastitis, the mum will be killed um, with the baby still inside. So the, the baby will be fighting and dying slowly while the mum's getting killed. And some of these fetal calves can also be cut from their mum's womb while they're still alive just to have their blood drained from their bodies. And this is to use in science. In, use in science. If you've seen anything that's labelled calf skin or luxurious leather, it might actually be from the skin of these unborn calves, especially if it's used for gloves. If you've seen or heard about the China study book, you might be aware that casein, which is the protein found in dairy, it's one of the biggest known carcinogens around. And this means that it causes cancer more than anything else does. Casein is also highly physically addictive due to the casomorphines created when casein is breaking down in digestion. And this morphine-like substance has an opiate effect on the body, making you feel great and also making you feel addicted. So tell me, I guess you have to work out what's more important to you, taste or compassion? Here's a few tips just to keep you on track when you're giving up dairy. Know why you are motivated to quit and remind yourself of this. Have the willpower to quit. Know that your cravings will pass. Find substitutes for your favourite things and there's so many dairy substitutes, there's so many cheese substitutes. Get on top of all the mental games that your brain might play. Distract yourself from old habits and connect with others, especially at vegan societies and online and forums and things like that. I hope that's really helped you with ditching dairy and I look forward to seeing you next week for the next question, which is, what is Asia like for vegans and activists? See you then.